whisper in the corner. Don't go and you can just feel something just a little bit off. And it contrasts this nice, hearty, beautiful main dish that you're eating right out of a pumpkin. Tingles with Hello, my tinklings, and welcome to this month's viewers' appreciation video. For those of you who are new to my channel, every month on the 25th, there is a chance for you to be featured in our viewers' appreciation. All you have to do for your chance to be featured is to comment on any of my videos at least one time in the month and then you get an equal chance as if you commented every single day. The only way you can get an extra chance is if you are my patron at a particular level then you can also get another There is also something very exciting for next month's viewers appreciation. For those of you who were with me last year, you'll probably remember that we did the Santa's letter, well, Santa's list video. And I'm going to be doing it again. And I've been preparing all year, so it's going to be, hopefully, even better. So, again, you just get selected randomly to be included in that if you comment throughout the month. But for my November viewers appreciation, if you are even just a one dollar patron, then you can get yourself put onto this Santa's Elves list. So, if you can see at the top, this is my calligraphy that I've been practicing through the year so that I will be ready for the Santa list to look Pretty good. Not as good as next year's Santa list, but that's what we got going right now. So this will be the Naughty and Nice list. Will be for the randomly selected viewers who comment throughout the month. But every single one of my patrons will get. And so, just so for my patrons who uh, aren't still pledged to me, but pledged earlier in the year, you will get your names as well, because I still appreciate you. And so you will get it uh, in this year's elf list. So I am super excited about that. I have been working really hard uh, to learn calligraphy so that I could make some nice looking writing and while I still have lots to learn and practice I'm happy with where we are at this point so that will be exciting come November so that's going to be November 20. So if you pledge any time up to November 25th, well, I'll probably record it a day or two before, so we'll say November 23rd, then you should be good. Now, that's pretty much everything as far as updates go, so I'm going to...
pass you over to the other me. To your hostess for this evening. I actually wanted to tell you one other thing. So, the person we're featuring today is Kyle Wolf. Thank you so much for your comment this month. And he commented on one of my older videos, my Stone Fire Grill video, which I think it was Milico who requested that video. Um, and at the beginning of the video, I think I was like, oh, do you have a reservation? And so Kyle actually told me that at Stonefire Grill, they don't take reservations. So thank you for that little tidbit, Kyle. So there's a little backstory for our viewer who we will be appreciating today. Now... Hello, and welcome to the Kyle Wolf Inn. Can I help you? Do you have a reservation this evening? Oh. Oh, so you're actually wanting to book in a reservation. Oh, certainly. So, when were you wanting... Thirty-first of October. So you are wanting to come for our Halloween special, is that right? And how many will be in your party that evening? All of those are living guests? No, ghost, ghouls? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course. So, just the, just the two of you? Oh, well, I think you're gonna have a lovely time. We have a very spooky but delicious evening planned. So, you know, each year on Halloween, we do our annual dinner and spooky experience. It's not really a play, and it's not really it's, its own unique thing. It was the brainchild of Kyle Wolf, obviously the original uh, creator of our inn here, and he oh, had such great ideas about how to integrate that experience. So, there is a kind of creepy appetizer time. So, we turn the lights down and give you an experience of kind of holding. other assorted items, but, I mean, if you've ever really done any of these sort of things, it's really just, you know, spaghetti and peeled grapes and ketchup and that sort of thing. But with the lights turned down and it's really dark, and the story is all about the way they describe it, oh, it's amazing how we get, you know, that little kind of shiver up your spine. It just makes you feel like, ooh, feel so creepy. But it's very, very perfect for that time of the year. You know, uh, you definitely won't feel like you're missing out with, you know, all the young kids going out getting trick-or-treats, you are going to have your own Halloween experience to remember. So we start off with that experience. 
and then there's a wide variety of beverages that you can get as well. Um, there's this one beverage that it tastes very uh, sweet but almost a little salty, but it's got this kind of thick consistency. It's really reminiscent of blood and it does kind of stain your mouth and teeth as you drink it. It's quite an experience and it's a good way of creeping out the other people at your table. So that one's quite fun, but we have a variety of cocktails as well. There's the Witch's Brew cocktail, which is very green, quite boozy as well. So if you want to get hammered, just knock back a few of those and you won't remember the evening, I'll say it's quite boozy, very strong. So there's that witch's brew. Um, there's also this one which is a little mummy cocktail. It's actually served in kind of a wrapped glass and has little bandages kind of falling off of the glass. We really prepare these. It is completely sanitary on the inside that's purely decoration on the outside. So it is sanitary, don't worry about that, you're not going to end up diseased from your dinner with us. Um, but that one, ooh, it's, it's a bit creepy because it's uh, just got kind of mushy on the inside. It tastes really good, but how did that go? You'll, you might want to have a witch's brew before you try it. I'll just say that. But anyway, you'll hear about some of the other ones as well. But there's lots of crazy, crazy drinks. And then, so you have your little starter creep factor in the drinks. And then as we move into your main course, it's much more palatable there, but the experience around you, I don't quite know how to describe it. It just, it gets very, uh, like the way we do it, it just kind of builds up. So it's, you can almost just hear a whisper in the corner of, and, I mean, everything gets decked out in this whole graveyard uh, apparel, so it feels like you're kind of eating at the graveyard. It's a bit morbid, but it's spooky and a little haunting. You can almost just hear the wisp of a ghost in the corner, or... And so it's just kind of, but it's all kind of in the background, and this is a real contrast because it, then at the meal you're having this kind of nice, warm, comforting meal. These are these delicious meals that are cooked in a jack-o'-lantern. It's perfect for the season. It's absolutely scrumptious. I hang out every year for Halloween just to eat that meal. Something just perfect about the way it gets cooked in the pumpkin just gives it extra flavor. So delicious. Um, and it's a very hearty, warming, beautiful meal. So to have that that 
as your main course and then there's a pause in between the main course and dessert it's a bit more of the jump scares and kind of all out putting you through the ringer a little bit and that's fairly short but rather intense and then after that the lights come up uh, kind of the night for that part is over and that's when we come out delicious chocolate lava cakes and all sorts of, you know, caramel apples and you can do popping for apples and fortune telling a little bit more the lighter hearted side of Halloween kind of come and it's a bit of a party atmosphere from there and everyone always feels a little bit more open and jovial after having gone through that terrifying experience together and, you know, being pissed up helps everybody just get out, you know, dance to the monster mash and have a great time yes, so the evening begins at 7 o'clock mm-hmm show up as early as 6.30, get pre-drinks, little tasty appetizers, we have little mummy rolls, uh, sugar cookies, little nibbles, uh, but you'll want to save a bit of appetite for the uh, delicious dinner that will be ahead. Well, we are looking forward to having you here at the Wolf Inn. You are going to love your experience. Oh, I look forward to seeing you then.